Good morning. Back on the Appalachian Trail. We're gonna cross over the bridge, then we're gonna head up to Mount Lincoln and Lafayette. We're gonna be up on Franconia Ridge soon. Taking the Liberty Spring Trail. I've done this, I wanna say, at least four times. So very familiar territory for me. I know the weather in the White Mountains can change really fast, but right now it is like a bluebird day. It is sunny, it is warm, and I'm excited for all the views that we are probably going to get up there. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Woo! Franconia Ridge is a pretty iconic spot on the Appalachian Trail. All right, just finished that crazy climb. Now officially on Franconia Ridge Trail. And I'm sure we'll get above treeline soon. I got water at the campsite, the Liberty Springs campsite, because that might be the last water source for a while. And I met Snakebite there, who is section hiking parts of the AT. So that was a nice little stop. And I'm really looking forward to these views. They're going to be incredible coming up. Welcome to the Alpine Zone. Yeah. Yeah. The Al or all. All right, that's Little Haystack. We're gonna follow this trail to Mount Lincoln up there. And you are so amazed, aren't you? Uh, speechless. Speechless. <laughs> Woo! It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Alright, summit of Mount Lincoln. This is a crazy view up here. I'll give you a little 360. This is where we're gonna stop for lunch. We have a little haystack over there. The next summit's over there. It's gonna be Lafayette. So yeah, Franconia Ridge, no matter how many times you come up here, it's it's insane. It's a perfect day too. So on the menu for today. I have a half-eaten egg and cheese sandwich from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> So everyone says your pace goes down drastically once you reach the whites and that's true because it's been three and a half hours and we've gone five miles. <laughs> I feel like anywhere else on the AT, five miles probably would have taken us like an hour and a half, but not here. We took a nice, long, extended lunch break <laughs> on Mount Lincoln. Now we're headed over here to Mount Lafayette. It's about 3.30. Definitely taking our sweet time, enjoying the views, taking lots of pictures. I've waited a long time to be up here as a through hiker. I've also waited a long time to see Stretch experience the whites. <laughs> and this is pretty cool. He's like a little kid. <laughs> <So happy. laughs> yeah. All right, so we got Mount Lafayette behind me. Little crowded at the top, just kind of went up and over real quick. And the 
next 4,000 footer is gonna be Mount Garfield. That's gonna be Mount Garfield right there. Still snow up here. A little bit. Yeah. Can't believe we were just up there earlier today. Awesome. Welcome to Mount Garfield. All right, right now I'm on the summit of Mount Garfield and it's really cool. There's a 360 degree view. I can see all the peaks that I just climbed over there. You can see all the peaks that I have to do tomorrow. This is my second time up here. The first time I was up here, I was with my friend Tess, who I have been staying with the past couple nights and hanging out with, so it's pretty cool to be up here again. Um, there's probably like half a mile into until the campsite that we're going to stay at tonight. Originally, we wanted to press on and stay at the Gio shelter um, or tent site, but that's pretty far and it has taken us a long time to do these miles today. Everyone said you really slow down when you're in the whites. Um, I kind of didn't believe that because I thought I was familiar enough with this area to just kind of keep my pace going, but I was humbled. <laughs> I was wrong. It's, it's pretty difficult out here um, being a through hiker compared to a day hiker, especially with my big heavy pack with a full resupply. It is not easy. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Out of here. See if you got some. World's most annoying hiking partner. <laughs> All right, just about to go to bed. I'm in my tent at the Garfield Ridge Shelter. That's going to do it for today. That was day 100 on the Appalachian Trail. I think that's so cool. Um, and today ended up being 10 miles. So hope everyone enjoyed this video. It's probably going to be one of my favorites. I can't wait to edit this right now. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Bye.